Hey YouTube, BM here. Just want to do a little, uh, little update and uh, a little talk about the reef and uh, how it all works, uh, how it's been working for me. Should have looked before I made the started yapping, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm probably six months, give or take, into this thing. Um, but I, I feel as if it's well established now. I don't know. Maybe it could take even a little bit longer, but it's on, definitely on its way. And uh, a little look on how it all works. As you can see, I uh, got my little Corrali for, for flow in there. I got two downspouts. Now I took both uh, sponges off the bottom of the downspouts. I took all the sponges out of this tank completely. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty clear. Um, all they were doing is collecting nitrates in my opinion. I don't need them. There's nothing floating in there. It looks crystal clear. A um, couple aqua clears. As you can see it's empty, there's nothing in there whatsoever, just for flow, maybe overkill, but I don't know, it seems to be working. This one here is a little DIY uh, refugium I got. Uh, I've been messing with it ever since, I uh, finally got it now, I had it, it was taped on the back, shining through it worked, I had to keep cleaning it, tape kept falling off, I'm going to clean up this, these tape marks right here, uh, I can get it, I got some of that goof off, it'll work. But. Then I just went topless on it. I mean, I'm already topless on, on the tank. Why not there too, you know? Um, <clears throat> lights on it, 23 hours a day. Give it a little break in between, but it's been working fine. <clears throat> Growing the chato like crazy. Had sponge in there, took that out as well. Uh, no sponge anywhere. There's plenty of flow. And uh, seems to be working. Working well. LED lights. Uh, I don't know if I'd recommend them on a deep tank. This is just a little tiny tank. It seems to be doing good. And uh, I went through like three different heaters on this thing, <clears throat> monitoring the uh, temperature. I actually had a couple of different ones on here just so I knew they were both the same. And uh, I got this at 79. It stays like that 24 7 all the time. And this room, it fluctuates 4 degrees, 5 degrees every day. And uh, it stays at 79, and believe it or not, with no heater at all. Just the heat from the pump, and the and the heat from that are strapped on the back, then produce a little bit of heat. <coughs> Excuse me. This tank stays at 79. I, I tried it. I, I had them all plugged in. Kept turning them down. It was. I tried to get it at 78. Uh, it's at 79. That's where it's going to be, and uh, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it, which is fine. And uh, no heater at all. It's nice. I like it. I, I run heaters on all my tanks, even my little nano this size. But um, <clears throat> everything's growing good in here, as you can see. Uh, the only livestock is some shrimp, a bunch of different shrimp. <clears throat> that little neon goby comes out when he wants to. Um, I, I thought I was going to lose this Duncan. It was knotted up for about a week. I took them sponges out, gave it a water change, it opened right up. So I don't know, this is just, the proof is in the pudding for me anyways. I mean, I'm, it's just, this works for me on this size tank and everything I got going on. But, everything's doing good. I did get rid of the brain, the big one. It was just getting too big. Um, this yellow sea cucumber, it was up by the glass for the longest time. And uh, it broke in two. I thought it was dead. I knocked it off and I cleaned it, and uh, two pieces fell to the bottom. There's one. Let me get up. <clears throat> Old man getting up off one knee. And there's the other piece right there. Both doing well. That's where they ended up. So that's cool. Had one, now I got two. Yellow mini sea cucumber. Nice. But that's what we got. Coraline algae everywhere. On the back wall, you see it. All along my uh, both filters. And uh, I don't know. That's my little nano reef. That's how it works. That's what works for me. I don't know. If you guys have any questions, uh, hit me up. I'll try to get to them all. Thanks for watching.